Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. I am Mitchell, your energy forecaster for today, Wednesday, July 24th, 2013. And I thank you so much for tuning in. If you like these videos, this videos, please share it on your Facebook page, subscribe to it here, and thank you for those of you who do on a regular basis. Today is number 24 which there's not a tarot card for that, but you can boil that number down to six, which is the lover's card. Also in the um, suits, it's about bringing things back into balance. It's about reminiscing the past. Um, that's cups and uh, coins. Uh, wands, it's about celebration. Um, swords, it's about, I'm trying to remember what my sword is. Oh, ending things and moving on. Typically. Um, also, if you take all the numbers, 7, uh, 24, 2013, you're going to get the number 19, which is the sun card, beginnings, new births, which kind of echoes a little bit about what the number 6 is in the suits, especially 6 of swords. And also that boils down to a number 1, the magician ship. So today, if you told the story of today with just the numbers, Look out for that brand new love coming to you and realize you have everything you need within you to attract that mate that you want. So kind of a fun, fun day for that. Um, I Just a few moments ago, I was like, it's really a good day. It feels good. I remember Louise Hay saying at one of the I Can Do It conferences, she would, before she even got out of bed, when she opened her eyes, she thanked the bed gave gratitude for the bed and I understand you know gratitude and gratitude parties and gratefulness and great gratitude journals <clears throat> and this is going to be a great segue you know though the vibration of gratefulness is what is so important I believe because it's about the energy of that and that's just a very focused way just like I use cards it helps me focus um, and get the energy and the message from you know the divine from all that is and you know, have, being grateful for that, being grateful when your feet hit the floor that there's a floor to stand on, that you have a roof over your head, all those good things. You know, starting with that is just one way. Grateful that you have hair, that you have nails to bite, <laughs> you know, to pick things apart for whatever. Finding that gratefulness, but it's about the energy of that. So I want to encourage you because this is the message that I was told to share today. Start getting in the habit of reading energy. If you aren't already doing that, that's what I do, that's what Jamie does, Evan, pretty much anybody who does anything psychic or mediumistic, it's really about reading the energy. Um, and and from, from when you're driving on the road, you know, read the energy of the highway, of the routes to work. You know, just, just take a moment and feel for yourself, is this the route I wanna go on? But also set a clear intention. You know, I wanna get to work fastest and safest. <laughs> you could get there the fastest but have a wreck on the way but you want to you know set the clear intention I want to get there fastest safest most effective efficient um, fun way whatever is important to you if being safe is not important then just say the fastest um, and, and especially reading the energy of a room so when you walk into a room to a party to a restaurant just pause take a breath and just feel you know feel the room feel the area um, I don't want you to be paranoid of like, oh, I need to always, you know, move away from that kind of a negative energy. Because sometimes what I perceive at first as being negative energy, especially in people, they end up becoming my best friends. What it was, was they were either a lot like me or I knew they were going to challenge me, help me grow, be sandpaper and rough off my edges. So sometimes just read the energy and take a breath. A lot of people they'll have an encounter with someone and just the energy is electric and they think, oh, romantic, romance, love, sex. And it absolutely can be that. But a lot of times it's just recognizing either part of your soul family, uh, you know, a soul mate that doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic one, a life mate. Um, I, I believe my animals are, you know, a soul mate of mine, a life mate of mine. Um, I believe I've been around with them before. Um, especially Sheldon. <laughs> He's just, there's a unique thing there, um, the dachshund. Um, also read the energy on food when you're going to open up a menu and order food, especially now as the earth's speeding up and things are happening more, we're becoming more sensitive to what we put in our bodies. So, um, you know, I've said this in many articles and columns and YouTube videos, but 
if you're about to eat food, the good old thing of blessing your meal. The reason I believe that it happened when we were taught to do that was to raise the vibration of that food, especially, you know, when we're consuming meats that the animals may have been, you know, slaughtered in an un, uh, humane, inhumane way. I don't know, many of you believe any animal slaughtering is inhumane. Um, I personally feel just like I'm here to do a job, some animals, part of their job is to, you know, feed me and help me to live and to grow um, just as if I'm because I believe a plant has the same kind of a soul and energy as I do so to eat a plant for me is not that much different but how things are are brought to us is a different story even if you drive through a fast food restaurant oftentimes that food was prepared by someone who were probably not too happy with their life and their job raise the vibration of the energy so feel the food feel the energy read 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 the energy get in the habit of almost like having that beacon out there now there are times when you need to just kind of shut it down when you're when you're in a resting mode or when you know you're in a safe place but I ask you to challenge you encourage you to read the energy today which is what I'm about to do with one card so let me shuffle and pull this one card for the energy today it is ah uh, hangman one of my favorite cards why uh, my um, birth number is number three, and this is number 12, but that boils down to number three. So I, I resonate with the Hanging Man um, and the Empress quite a bit in the Tarot deck, as well as Hermit and number eight of cups. So this is a number three. Uh, it's actually 12, boils down to number three. So a lot of, lot of, this is a time of incubation, really, because it's about to be, there's about, the egg is under the chicken. The caterpillar is in its cocoon. We are about to have some busting open brand new stuff going on. You know, going along with the lovers, the, the sun, the magician numbers today. Um, as you can see, the hourglass is on its side, so it's, it's in a holding pattern. So today, the message I hear is, while in this incubation time, prepare yourself for what's coming. This is a time for reading, studying, um, recuperating, because it's in the resting phase that healing happens. When you're running the marathon, you are not healing. It's after the marathon when you rest. You know, when you're in school studying your butt off, you are exhausted and tired. It's on the spring breaks, the winter breaks. It's when you're done that you get that moment. You know, that's that's what I talked about yesterday in my video. Find your breaks daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, because it's in those recovering times that you can grow. Because when you're in the work phase, there is no growing. There's ripping, tearing, you know, to then when you finally do rest, especially at night, you can repair and grow. So repair and grow in the rest and that is your message for today. Thank you for subscribing, tweeting, reposting, sharing. Um, not blog talk tonight for, uh, for my show, the Intuitive Messenger Show. It's tomorrow night, Thursday night, 25th, 24th. So only um, a one-time thing. Um, then we'll go back to every Wednesday night at 8.30. So tomorrow night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, check out Virtual Labs on my website, intuitivemessenger.org. You have an amazing, amazing day. I say to you, namaste.